Hey guys, Dark Recycle on FPV, and I told this customer to send me back his quad. This is the one that I sent to him, and uh, he said that the motor's locked, basically. Uh, he was unable to do anything with it. So I am going to, I'm actually just cutting the box open here real quickly. Uh, unless there's an easier way to open this sucker, but I don't think so, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so some something I have done uh, when I was done working on this, uh, I'm not sure what it is. My guess is that something got, uh, something off my bench may have got uh, stuck in one of the magnets of the motors, I don't know. But in either case, I told them, okay, there, now we got it open. So I said I would do this live because I believe that there's something in the motor. I don't think there's any damage. I think that there's like something magnetic, like let's say a washer or something, or a screw, a small screw I may have had on the bench. And as I was packing this, that may have gone up. Okay, so the note says it's the left rear motor. So we're gonna go ahead, and he's right, it's not, see you see what it's doing? It's like, watch, watch. See that right there? There's something blocking it, but then it will spin. What that tells me is that there's something stuck in the motor. Now when I tried to do that video on how to take the motor belt off, the gentleman said he had too much of a hard time trying to do it, so he sent it back, which is fine. I mean, this is, this is my responsibility. Uh, I don't know what could have gone up there because I usually will wipe this bench down, but in either case, and he said he couldn't remove the motor bell. So I'm going to see how tough this, okay, well, there's the motor bell. So the motor bell came off and now what we want to do is I want to look and there it is right there. Okay. This is what I was worried about. So there's a, I'll show you here. Let me get the right tweezers. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Let me see if I can use, I'm going to use these ceramic ones. So here's what was the problem right here. So I'll put this under the, oh, you know what, my laptop's not on, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this as close to the camera up here as I can, uh, and what you can see, I don't know, I guess if I back it off just a little bit, is a small piece of metal right there, okay? Uh, where that's from, I don't know. Is it magnetic? Oh, yeah. And it got stuck up in the bell. Now watch what happens. The minute I pop this on, it's going to actually, and we're back to normal, okay? So that is, and that sucks because I do my best to make sure that we don't have that problem. Uh, that I try to keep, you know, I the, all these little stains and things, these don't come off. And that's, I love this um, solder pad, so I refuse to change it for a new one. Um, but unfortunately, somewhere in all of that, I must have uh, got something stuck up in there. Uh, it's now right here. And I don't, look, see, it even sticks to this. I don't even know what it is. Um, but... We're gonna throw that out, and we're gonna turn the laptop on, and we're gonna run all the motors to make sure everything's working, and we will be back to normal. And I told him I will cover all his shipping expenses. Real nice guy, real understandable. But uh, this is one of those things where I say, hey guys, you know what? Um, I do this for a living, and there will be times where I make a small mistake. Uh, it happens, so even, even, even people that do it as much as I do, that's not, I'm not saying I'm the best at it by any means, but I'm just talking about it time-wise. That's why I say when people say, man, I do this, you know, I, it can't be me, this is faulty. And I'm like, no, it could be you, it could be me, it could be anybody. We, we make mistakes. Uh, but I appreciate the customer giving me the chance to fix it and having patience with me while we don't do that. All right, my laptop is hopefully gonna turn on here at some point. I don't know, it's a stupid thing. It's, uh, anyways, um, so hopefully we'll see that come up. But I'm not seeing anything right now, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Should be coming on. Of course, now we have technical difficulties. And emotional damage. Come on, you stupid machine. Turn on. Turn on. There it goes. Okay, it's coming on, so let me get the keyboard that I use for this. We'll plug it in, and we'll get this thing going. And use that as a lesson to you guys. Pay attention to what's on your bench. Wipe it down. All these little little pieces of debris can get in the way and really cause a problem. Uh, so that's it. It's a quick fix. Uh, but uh, the customer said it was real hard to take the bell off. Uh, I could see if you're not used to doing it where it could be difficult. I mean, some people get worried that you know it should come off so easily that they're afraid they're breaking their motor if they're having to pull too much harder. Um, all right, let me log in here. Sorry, I'm just... Now that the laptop is on, here we go. All right, so let's log in there and we will do a test run and then I will actually clean up my bench 
because we have a ton of work to do. And we spent the day doing the packing the orders. Woo, that's a lot of orders, man. Got over a thousand orders in three days. That's a crazy amount of orders. A crazy amount. Oh. All right. All right, computer's up. Let me get it launched so you guys can see it. Uh, let's open this up here. Here we go. Oh, this stupid thing did my Windows update, I bet. No, maybe not. I don't know. Change my background to something. I don't like it. But in either case, okay, so we have the, the laptop will now be able, so you guys can see it. So there it is. And I will open Betaflight. And I will get ready to plug this in. Okay, beta flights up. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I will take this and I will plug this into the drone. Try not to drop my screwdriver here. Okay, let's power it up. Let's connect. And actually, you need to see the drone move, not necessarily see the big beta flight screen, so let's do it like this. One, two, motors and arm and uh, run. And there we go. Everything's looking great, okay? So we're good to go there. Let's disconnect, power it off. I think the little buzzer finder is gonna go crazy in a second. Uh, let me get ready to push that button. There it is right there. Perfect. I think that's it. That should do it. Okay. And we're good to go, guys. So that pretty much does it. Uh, again, to my customer. Sorry about that. Um, I will, usually I will always test the motors. And I think what I did was I actually picked that up after testing uh, when I was putting it back in the box. So now what I will do is add to my testing a manual spin of the motors before I put it back in the box. That way I know if I picked up anything. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. There's our uh, uh, Facebook channel. I would appreciate if you subscribe to it. <laughs> and uh, hope you're enjoying our sale. Uh, I got confirmation from shipping that our new inventory is about to land. So yeah, 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 it's gonna be crazy. Um, so we will see what's happening next. We got some cool stuff coming up. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Oof.